<laughs> okay. Wonder what it would be like to have Jackson and, and Francie here on the principal. Yeah. Coach, uh, it's a good win tonight against Austin P. Sixty-eight. Yeah, maybe just your your first uh, your your first thoughts about the game. The best thing was this morning, Jackson said, "Get a locker room with you after the game." And I said, "Hey, come on." He goes, "We pour water on me." He goes, "Y'all pour water on a cast that game. Why'd y'all do that?" And then he goes, but don't pour too much on me. <laughs> but we did. I mean, it's, uh, it's a great win, obviously. Uh, yes. It's a great robbery. And obviously, I know this game means a lot for a lot of people. Bear with me here. The yeah, guys have been a little quiet. But um, obviously, we weren't. We, we yeah. It was great to fight through it. It was great to fight through it. And uh, hold on, guys. All right. It was great to fight through it. Be resilient. The defense kind of kept us in the game. We missed a lot of easy opportunities, I thought, in the first half uh, around the basket. And, um, you know, that's a recording. And so, uh, you know, it just, you know, thankfully there was a big possession the first half where it was five. They missed a three to get it to eight. And I thought I was going to have just down two. It's huge. Uh, we were able to get up 10, couldn't pull away again. Stopped the shot it too quick a little bit there. They pounded us inside for a little bit and rebounded it too well. But, you know, we persevered and uh, we got it. You hold people under 60 at home, you should win. Questions for Steve? Coach, I was going to ask, you, you related a little bit to here in the second ago. They shot almost 50% throughout the first half. You know, all the down the yeah. That's not feel real good, actually. Don't yeah, you know, I, I did. I told our staff, I said, guys, you know, for us just to be down two right now is probably pretty good the way we've played. You know, we haven't we hadn't been very good. And um, you know, fortunately the second half, um, you know, we were a lot better on both ends of the floor. I mean, you shot 38 the first half, you know, we shoot 55 the second, 37 for three, and, and that was big. And obviously we made two big threes late, Jacoby and Quincy, but I thought we executed well, just didn't finish well a lot today. Uh, but we showed some resolve on the defensive end. Was there an intention to get Jamari started in the second half? I feel like he was very determined. A lot yeah, I wanted to go. We, you know, kind of went to him a couple of times, and, and then we found him on a couple of slips too. Um, you know, because you know he, you know, missed a couple of ones that he usually makes in the first half. But I wanted to make sure he was confident. You know, from that standpoint. Coach, uh, down towards the end of the down towards the end of the game, you kind of whispered in DJ here. Can you share with him, Tony? Yeah. DJ. We need you to guard the big fella in those last seven minutes for us. And some guys, you know, respond better than that. And some guys respond better than yelling and screaming at them. DJ's one, you know, I think our relationship more that I can just tell him, that I can just tell him, hey DJ, we need you, brother. And then I thought from that point on, he really answered the bell. What is it about Quincy? I mean, that was and he's just got, you know, I think he's a fit, fit, he fits Murray. You know, he fits Murray, he's a tough kid. Does he do everything perfect? You know, does he drive me some crazy at times? Yes, but he competes the right way. Um, he's about the right things, and he was due again, like this to make big plays and big moments, and he did it. I felt that we that shot was gonna go in. Which is five, yes. That was a big one, obviously. You have more to go, I yeah. And uh sometimes man, Coach Kennedy used to say divine intervention, and uh sometimes you need a little luck, and uh, you know, that play was big. What's it like to get have a guy like him who's played college basketball for such a long time? You know whether or not he's scoring fifteen or not. What's it like to have a guy like him on the court? Yeah, he's experienced and stuff. I just think he understands. You know, and I, you know, I, I've kind of known him from just having a relationship with coach one of his high school teammates. So you know that he'll, you know, as well from the trust factor. I'm gonna ask you one question here. You're a uh, kind of part of the best guy. I've got a huge win when I got the license. Are you aware of the? Man, I just I didn't I had no idea. And uh, as Neil said, uh man, the women are gonna stop for ice cream. If we went on the road, we'll stop and get some ice cream uh for the guys. And so uh I was like, uh man, they beat Kentucky. You know, Rochelle should should get them ice cream and out back, you know. Uh, in that order. In, in that order, yeah. Order. And uh, but you know, it shows a lot about Rochelle and her team. 
to where they've, you know, they played really well the other night for the first quarter and a half. They lose the lead and they get beat at home. And then you got to go on the road to uh, to an SEC program that's had a ton of success in women's basketball of late. And you go in there and you hold them at 44 points. Uh, I think that speaks volumes about her and her leadership and the character of her kids. And uh, so right now she's the queen of Murray and Rod Thomas He'll kill me if I say that he's the king of Murray. <laughs> Your team also shows some character this, these last two games. I think. Yeah, we have. I, I tell you what, I, I, I've i never questioned our character really since these kids have gotten on campus. Now, there's a difference between character and basketball character. We're continuing to develop our basketball character. But you talk about good kids, about the right things, going to go to class, going to be good examples in the community. We've got that. And our job here in this program since ever I got here with Coach Kennedy – is we want the right kind of kids and to teach them how to be better husbands and fathers one day. And if along the way we can win championships and hang other banners, that's great. But I think the biggest thing we want to be impacted in this community with the right people. Coach, uh, how much of an issue are these two kids? Yeah. <laughs> They've been that done that guy. Most of, a lot of us have. Uh, how, did, how did you have any problems getting this group of kids, you know, with 13 of them being new to the program, get it through their heads about the importance of this game to the community? And I really didn't oversell it, to be honest. You know, these guys, I think sometimes they're can be playing at Murray can come with enough pressure in its own. You know, you look up there, man, I'm looking up, I'm like, man, if we win another banner, where are you going to hang it? You know what I mean? So, I mean, there's a lot up there, right? And we've already got the, we've already got the new addition to the league. I told him, hey, it's a big game. They don't, in, in, in all due respect in sports, you know, let's take this in context. They don't like us. We don't like them. Okay. It's a big deal to everybody in this community. It's been our rivals for a year three years um and you know we've been fortunate lately to be on the about being on the right side more than the uh you know, on, on the right side you know in the games you know of, of late. but uh nate's got a really good team i think he'll have a really good year the Linux son and he's doing a good job down there and they're opening up. i think the biggest thing was just to let the guys know and it's a big deal but i really didn't want to throw too much on their plate to where it's man you know we just got to get better right now, you know, and it's not even seven and four, two and oh, like I said, it's, you know, we've let one or two get away from us. We just got, we got to figure out right now how to continue to grow defensively, how to have better practices, how to keep developing our chemistry, how to finish better and how to finish games better. How important was it for y'all to come back and win these last two games after what happened Saturday in Louisville? Oh, we had to win these two. I mean, I want to be here for a while, so I mean, we had to win these two. I mean, I've been in coach longer. We had to win these two games. But how much better does the team feel right now about itself after what they went through? Well, I think I told him, I said, guys, we won these two. We're not playing really up to par. And the other team obviously has a lot to do with it at times, but, you know, we're not. We're we just not. We're we're not at the best version of ourselves yet. And, uh, and, and, uh, and hopefully, at, uh, you know, come January we will be. Coach, a, a night like this is, you know, all about the moments, the 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 big shots in the games, you know, uh, a you know a rivalry game, moments like this. <laughs> yeah, you no, know, that's all about. They've the never been to a press conference. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh. well, it's more interesting. Yeah. Okay. So I, I want to know if you don't get the quotes, can't hear you. <laughs> I know you can. I know. I heard you, buddy. We'll get you. <laughs> I just you know, you know, what what goes through your mind on nights like this? I mean, honestly, man, I heard Buzz Williams say something today, and obviously Mike Leach passed last week or the other day, excuse me. Man, this is this is what's fun, you know. So you can win these games. It's like you just you, this game, right? You gotta win, right? We're off tomorrow. My son's got basketball games. You know, maybe come Murray Callaway high game, but like to be able to go in the locker room and mess around with them and have them there at the age now where they can experience this, that's that's probably the most important thing to me right now. And so, uh, you know, we just got to keep growing. But this was great, and I know it means a lot to a lot of the people in the community and former players, um, and uh, hopefully there's more out there for this team. Thank you, Steve. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Let's go, man. Yeah, yeah, they're throwing us out. Come on. Grab your ball. Thanks, guys. Thank you, guys.